today we're taking a road trip around Northeast Arkansas, touring some fun roadside attractions. Let's get going. Our route today will take us to six roadside attractions. Starting from Jonesboro, we'll first stop at Paragold, then head up to Pigott. From there, we'll go west to Pocahontas and a little further to Ravenden, then make our final two stops down in Walnut Ridge. After that, we loop back home to Jonesboro. The first stop on our trip today is downtown Paragold. We're actually in front of the historic Greene County Courthouse and the attraction you're gonna look for is the Statue of Liberty. She's seven foot tall, made out of bronze, and she is actually the oldest Statue of Liberty replica outside of the state of New York. Known as the Paragold War Memorial, it honors 40 Greene County men killed in World War I. The statue, dedicated in 1924, and the marble slabs were added later in the 40s. Our next stop here is in Piggott at the Hemingway Pfeiffer House. So you've probably heard of Ernest Hemingway's famous classic novel, A Farewell to Arms, but you might not have known that parts of it were actually written here in Piggott in this barn behind me that was converted to a studio by his in-laws. Restored and opened as a heritage site by Arkansas State University in 1999, you can either make a quick stop and stroll the estate or take a tour of the barn studio and the Pfeiffer family home as well as many exhibits relating to Hemingway's time in Piggott. The next stop on our road trip is downtown Pocahontas. Now, before you go check out the square, make sure to come to the courthouse and look at their meteor that supposedly fell in 1859 while some scientists don't agree that it came from space, you still want to come check out a part of Pocahontas history. Found in the Black River by a local farmer, the Pocahontas Meteor weighs about a thousand pounds. It was placed here in front of the Randolph County Courthouse where it proudly remains today. Just a short drive down Highway 67 and we've come to our next roadside attraction this is the Ravenden Raven. Standing at 12 feet tall, it has been the town's mascot since it was built in 1996. The statue that refuses to die, what you see is the third incarnation of the Big Raven. Built by resident Bob Clemens in 1996, it still stands today as the pride of Ravenden. No road trip through Northeast Arkansas would be complete without a stop on Abbey Road. In Walnut Ridge, that is, the Beatles Park commemorates the only time the Fab Four ever stopped in Arkansas. It was for a plane changeover back in 1964 at the Walnut Ridge Airport. This 3D take on the Abbey Road album features four life-size silhouettes of the Beatles in front of an engraved aluminum backdrop. There's tons of hidden references scattered across the piece, so take a closer look when you visit. The Beatles community of downtown Walnut Ridge is a strong one with rich history since the band first visited. Abbey Road is always evolving. And we're staying in Walnut Ridge for our very last stop where Abbey Road meets the Rock and Roll Highway 67. Here at Guitar Walk you can learn about all these musicians that used to tour around Northeast Arkansas when they were up and coming. Those include Sonny Burgess, Conway Twitty, and even Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. And you can see why it's called Guitar Walk, stretching 115 feet long and 40 feet wide. It's a great tribute to rock and roll and those who built it. And you can visit anytime for free. Thanks so much for joining me on this road trip today. I hope we've inspired your next tour of Northeast Arkansas. As always, thanks so much to our sponsor, First Security Bank, for making these trips possible. And you can always go to kitacom roadtrip to see everywhere we've been and let us know where we should go next. See you there.